Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, April the 2nd, entitled, Here's My Lunch. Now, this is the second day as we look at the 100 Days of Impact and already uh, the stories that are coming in just from one single day are pretty awesome. I even had my own experience uh, that I sent out on Facebook where uh, in Sam someone saw my bracelet and uh, in the process of explaining that they said, I want to be a part of that as well and uh, shared a little bit about their life. We were able to pray together. I took my band off and uh, put it on her arm and uh, we have one more person that uh, is teaming with us to make a difference in these hundred days. I had the opportunity to share uh, with a couple of other people and uh, just be a, a point of inspiration. But we need to realize, and what I want to focus on there, here's my lunch, is, boy, sometimes the smallest things in our life, when we put them in God's hands, can be miraculous. And what I'm talking about is when Jesus fed the 5,000. In John 6, 5, it says, When Jesus looked up and saw the great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, what shall we, Where shall we buy bread for all these people to eat? And he answered, he, uh, it says he asked them to test them this. He already had in mind what he was going to do, but Philip answered, Eight months' wages would not buy enough bread for everyone to have a single bite. In other words, it's overwhelming. It's too big for us. How in the world could we ever do something with this? Another disciple, Andrew, Simon's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far would that go among so many? What we miss here, I think, is that the one guy that came prepared, this little boy who actually had enough food to feed himself, was willing to give up his lunch to see what God could do with it. And I think in this hundred days, that's really what we're doing too. We're going, would I give up something that could be mine, take care of me, to be able to see what God could do in multiple ways beyond myself? The question is, am I willing to give up my lunch? Am I willing to let what could just be hoarded for me be given to see what can God do with this if I placed it in his hands. Over and over I'm seeing that when I give God the little bit that I have, only five loaves and two fish, what is that among thousands of people? And yet every time I'm willing to give up what is my little thing and give it into God's hands, he's able to multiply it into miraculous proportions. I want to be a part of the miracle. This little boy couldn't be part of the miracle if he wasn't willing to give up his lunch to see what God could do with it. So the question is to us, would we be willing to give up what is ours, our lunch, to see what God could do with it if we put it in his hands? Let's pray. Father, Lord, I want to be able to take not just my lunch, but my efforts, my opportunities, uh, Lord, just the, uh, the everyday things of my life that could just supply me with one more meal, one more opportunity, and to put it in your hands and see what would happen if you took control of it. Could you change a life? Could you change multiple lives? Could you feed 5,000 people with something as small as my lunch. God, give us the faith to believe that if we were willing to put our little portions in your hands, that we can see great things. Lord, day two, as we begin to just allow a small part of who we are to be shared with the world, something beyond ourselves that doesn't benefit us in any way, Lord, let us see what you can do when we give you the small things of our life, and how much more the big things. Do your work through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I just encourage you, as we go into day two, would you be willing to say, here's my lunch. Let's see what God can do 
when we give him control over the things in our life. I'll see you tomorrow.